Hi, I'm Victoria here in our Teeswater branch at Bruce County Public Library, and I'm here today to do a fun math related activity with you that involves putting our multiplication skills to the test. Now I know what some of you may be thinking like, oh, rats, math. But I think that when we can do math activities that get the more artistic, colorful sides of our brain working in addition to using numbers, our math skills can really grow and it makes math that much more enjoyable. And that's exactly the kind of exercise I'm going to be doing with you today. So the name of our activity is called Spiral Laterals. And the root word of that term is spiral, meaning things that go in a circle. So check this out. I just finished doing some spiral laterals on my own. What do you think? Here's one. Here's two. And these are some examples of what we're going to be creating together today. And here's three. If you think that's cool, then stick around for the remainder of this activity because we're going to be creating these together. And all you need for today's spiral ladder activity is things that you have in your home, like a pencil or a marker, something to draw your spiral lateral with, some grid paper. Grid paper that has tiny squares is better as opposed to larger squares. So the smaller the squares, the better for this activity. And of course, some pencil crayons to color in your final product. So if you're ready, let's get to spiral laddering. Okay, so we will begin with our one times table because that is the easiest spiral lateral that we can make. So you see here, I have prepared my grid paper and I have something to begin drawing my spiral lateral with. So at the top of my page is where I will do all of my multiplication and my calculating and figure out what numbers I need in order to draw my spiral lateral. So let's begin, as I said, with the one times table. So one times one equals one. One times two equals two. One times three equals three. One times four equals four. One times five equals five. 1 times 6 equals 6, and so on. We'll go to about 10. 1 times 7 equals 7. 1 times 8 equals 8. 1 times 9 equals 9. And 1 times 10, of course, equals 10. So that should do it. We'll stop there. But we're not done. This is just our multiplication. Now we need the actual number sequence that will help us draw our spiral lateral. How do we do that? Well, whenever you have a single digit, you can just rewrite it directly underneath. That's good to go. So you see what I mean. One, two, three, four, and these numbers are going to become in handy in a second. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, but when we get to a number that has two digits, we can't leave it that way because we only want single digits for our number sequence. So when a number has two digits, you're going to add those two little digits together. So in this case, one plus zero equals, of course, one. But now you see we've started with one and we're ending with one. That means our pattern is starting to repeat and that's when we know our sequence can stop. So in other words, one to nine is all that we are interested in. One all the way through to nine are the numbers we need in our sequence. So now we can get to the fun part and actually start drawing. So to create a spiral lateral, we're going to be moving in a spiral motion around the page at 90 degree angles. All that means is we're going to be moving to the right, then down, then to the left, and up, and again, to the right, down, to the left, and up, all using the numbers in our sequence. I'll show you what I mean. To create this spiral lateral, start as close as you can to the center of your page because you don't want to trail off of the page or run out of room. So. Let's start with number one, moving to the right. One space to the right, and I'm using green to show you my lines. 
our next number is 2. So we move down 2 spaces. Our next number is 3. So we move to the left 3 squares or spaces. Our next number is 4. So we move 90 degrees upward. That 90 degrees will give you a perfect corner. And now we move back to the right. So five, six down, seven across, eight up, and nine across. All right, now you go back to one. So one down, two across, three up, four across, five down, six across. And now you see they're starting to overlap. That's going to give you your very cool spirally effect. So don't worry, that's what you want. Uh, seven up, eight across, nine down. And you repeat again at one. One across, two up, three across, four down, five across. Try to make your lines as straight as possible. Six up, seven across, etc., etc. In the end, you get something that looks like this. Pretty cool, huh? And this is where the colored pencil crayons that I suggested you grab come in handy because you can finish off your product by coloring in all the spaces to create a really cool design. So this is the shape of spiral lateral you get when you use multiples of one, as we did up here. How about we create a spiral lateral with multiples of two? You can do this really with any number. So I'm gonna get a fresh sheet of grid paper and I'm going to start with my multiples of two. Again, using the top of the page to do my multiplication and then the bottom of the page to draw my spiral lateral. So let's start. Two times two, sorry, rather, you start at one always. Two times one equals two. Two times two equals four. And you can put little commas to separate the numbers. Two times three equals six. Two times four equals eight. Two times five equals 10. Two times six equals 12. Two times seven equals 14. Two times eight equals 16. Two times nine equals 18. And two times 10 equals 20. 2 times 11 equals 22, but I think we can stop there. So that is where you'll need to know your two multiplication tables. Now we're going to create our number sequence. So remember, as I mentioned, when it's a single digit, you're good to go. All you have to do is simply rewrite the number. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Actually, this should be one. Why? Because as I mentioned, whenever you have a number with two digits, you have to add those two little numbers together because we only want single digits in our sequence. So in this case, one plus zero equals one. One plus two equals three. One plus four equals five. 1 plus 6 equals 7. 1 plus 8 equals 9. 2 plus 0 equals 2. 
2 plus 2 equals 4. And now we see our pattern starting to repeat again. So we began with 2, and 2 has appeared again. So that means 9 is where our sequence will stop. So we're only interested in the numbers between 2 and 9 for purposes of our spiral lateral. So let's begin drawing. As I mentioned, start in the center as much as you can. And let's start. So we're moving in 90 degree motions to the side, down, to the side, and up. Let's do it. Beginning with two. Two squares to the right. Four squares or spaces down. Six squares to the left. And eight squares up. One to the right. Three down. Five to the left. Seven up. And nine across. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you go back to two. Two down, four across, six up, eight across, and one down. Three across. I'm going to overlap into my numbers a little bit, but that's okay. You'll do it much neater when you do it. Five up, seven across. Nine down. And you go back to two. Perfect. And so on. And you'll create the rest of your spiral lateral until your spiral lateral with multiples of twos looks something like this. Pretty cool, huh? And like I mentioned, you use your pencil crayons to create a really cool design to show how proud you are of your product. And like I mentioned, you can do spiral laterals with any multiples. Here's one I did with a multiple of five. Notice how tight and clean and colorful it is. Give it a try. So what did you think? Didn't I tell you math could be fun and artistic all while practicing our multiplication skills? I hope you believe me now, and I hope that you really take the time to create a spiral lateral of your own. Really take pride in your work. Color it in and show it off. And practice your math skills in the process. If you're interested in today's activity and interested in following up with any books that we might have in our Bruce County Public Library collection, you can look for books such as this one, Division and Multiplication by Rebecca Wingard Nelson. We have lots of books like this to help you practice your math skills and many more. If you want to look online, visit the kids at Bruce County Public Library website where there you will find an assortment of different resources to practice your skills in a number of subjects. For instance, Tumble Book Library has an assortment of puzzles and games where you can practice your uh, memory skills, your patterning skills, and so much more. Also check out funbrain.com. That is a number one website where you can practice your skills in a number of subjects not only math, but spelling, science, grammar, and all of that. So in addition to taking out books like this from our collection, have a look online. And there are so many more uh, math and other subject related materials there to help you have fun and strengthen your academic skills. I hope you enjoyed this STEM activity today and I hope you create a spiral lateral of your own. I'm Victoria here at Bruce County Public Library, wishing you a wonderful day. Bye-bye.